There are some women shopping in a Target, mind their own business, having a discussion, and you have a woman that gets involved into their conversation on the internet. They call this woman Target Tammy. I don't know why y'all always got to come up with these little names. I don't know who started that crap, but man, I wish it end already. So you'll see that she's going to do what they normally do, like to interject themselves into other people's business, but let's go ahead and roll the clip. Talking about in public. We were having a conversation. And if we were having a conversation, what did we say? This is going to be on Twitter. Exactly. Y'all don't stop. Exactly. What did we say? No, I'll just say it. Please repeat what we said. What did we say? You were talking about sex in public. What exactly, what exactly what? did we say? What exactly did we say? Because that's how you asked me. What exactly did we say? I mean, that's what you're that's that's what what you, you screamed out loud. I said that you were we, having sex in public. No, that I is said, not what we, we said. Having, where is your hearing aid today, honey? <gasps> Because you're not hearing real good. I said, Tara, try this on because this looks like something Earthy's out. I don't want to be compared to Earthy Kid because she had sex. This is what you guys that's do. What I'm asking, that's what I'm asking. That's why I'm asking. What this woman any longer, please. I want us to stop okay, engaging well, come with this on. woman. Let's stop. Let's have finish yes. with, with the hands. Let's stop engaging with her, please. Let's stop. She can't hear. Thank you. That's very clear. I understand you're an abuser. Stop. I understand you're abusive. Stop. I understand you're abusive and you make up lies on the spot. I understand. I understand, I understand that you're ignorant. Don't let me abuse her. Yes, call, name abusive. call me. Call me. Keep telling me. I'm ignorant. Keep telling you're me. Ignorant. Name call me. I'm gonna write. You know, should I write it down? This is should I write down all the negative things that you guys have said yeah, about me already in our interaction? In no, no, she's the micro. Personal attacks. I didn't realize that personal attacks were normal. I also didn't realize that talking about sex in public was normal. I didn't realize all these things. Stop talking, Tab. Stop talking. Please stop talking to this lady. Yeah, we have a problem. No, yes, ma'am. We were standing here talking, and I made a reference to Eartha Kit. No, I can't. I can't. Ma'am, I made a reference to Eartha Kit, and my friend said, I don't want to be compared to Eartha Kit because she had sex in the movie with And then she said, so she said, it's okay. I know you're trained on mine. I know you're trained on mine. I know you're trained on mine. Good job. Good job. We are together. You're perfect for the court system. You guys should all go to court. Now we're perfect for the court system. Because you're trained liars. Can we just can we asked her we asked her to move. We said please leave. And then she attacked. Actually, they said they were gonna leave. They actually said they were gonna leave. And when I said good that I was glad that they were leaving because they were caught. Now, as you heard, this woman was listening in, ear hustling, getting involved in other people's conversation, thinking that she heard them discussing sex in public. Now, even if she was discussing sex in public, what is it to her? I didn't see that was an elementary school. I didn't see a bunch of children around. They are grown women. They can have whatever conversation they want to have. Why does she feel that she has a right to come over there and tell grown women what to do? Do you notice that? That's things that, that a lot of them like to do. They think they can come and tell black people what to do. Then when you go to say something back to them, they always want to tell you about your tone of your voice, how loud you're speaking, and trying to tell you how you should respond to that. They talk to you like they're your mother or they're your father. Have you noticed that? And they do that to you more than anyone else, black folks, because we allow them to do that. See, anytime they will try to get themselves in our business, you need to tell them to get the business that pay them because it's sure not your conversation. You should tell them that your life sucks that much that you got to sit up there and listen to my conversation. You notice how much they stalk black folks. Like I talked about yesterday in, in the video with the Christmas tree, how they pay attention to what we eat, what we drink, how we wear our hair, how we wear our clothes, how we walk, how we talk, anything. That's what they're paying attention to. Don't have nothing else going on with their lives. Then you get involved in other people's conversation because you can't either understand something somebody's saying, or you want to control someone's conversation. Just that slave master mentality a lot of them have. We've seen videos like the one where you had the two women speaking Spanish, and they come interjecting themselves into it, pissed off because they're speaking Spanish. Why do you want to be in their conversation? You're pissed off that they're not speaking English because you want to be nosy. And I don't know why you're so ate up with nosiness. Getting involved in people's situation. I don't care what language somebody's speaking around me. They're not talking to me. So I don't care less what they got going on. 
But see, I have a life. I have things to do. I'm not sitting up there trying to listen to people's conversation. They go butt in because I don't like some, something they've supposedly said. I mean, you see how ridiculous this is? Completely ridiculous. And no one calls this out. No one talks about how nosy and how stalkerish a lot of them could be. They don't leave people. And it's not just this one woman. It's a lot of them. Well, I covered one a while with maybe two weeks ago. Where there was an old man getting involved into a conversation between two Spanish people. You had the one at the grocery store talking about, oh, I hear you saying you selling food stamps to another black woman. Like, what, what is it with them? Why do they always got to be in people's business? It's, it's very, very annoying. And what y'all need to do is start shutting that down every time. And, and don't even entertain that or even explain yourself to them. They have no right to tell you anything. You're grown. See, the thing is, as black folks, we got to stop all this trying to make them comfortable, make them happy, explain. Forget that. They don't make you comfortable. They surely are trying to make you happy, and they surely don't explain nothing to you. It usually don't go that way. So you have to tell them what they can do, where to go, and how they can do it when they get involved in our conversations. If we want to get your advice on something, we'll ask. If we want your opinion on something, we would ask. Until then, stay in your lane. Stop stalking black folk. Can we get a restraining order that we can leave us alone? That you have to stay 100 feet away from us physically and on social media? It would be nice. But no, they, they'll be stalking, causing calamity and ruckus. But they say that they're so superior, but yeah, they can't stay away from black people. That's amazing to me. But we have to shut down these ear hustlers. When you notice them listening, start saying something crazy, they really get their attention. That's how you do it, you notice they're listening. Because trust me, even though they act like they're not listening to your conversation, what you got going on, they're listening. Because any time black folks gather in, in, a, in a group, you notice, especially on the job, they all looking, looking, looking like, what are they talking about? All you want to know. It's so freaking nosy. But then when we see them in the crowd talking, we don't be trying to say, oh, what are they talking about? We don't care because we have a life. We have things to do. And I would say those who act that way, you don't have nothing going on. So you're living your life through black folk or through anybody else that you can't understand and you pissed off that you can't be in their business. I wish we were like other groups that could speak a different language. I wish all of us spoke Swahili here in America. So they really get pissed off with us because they can't understand what we're saying anymore. Well, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this particular story. We have to shut down the ear hustlers and put them in their place when they get involved in business that has nothing to do with them. They need to stop stalking us. And we got to start calling them out as stalkers because that's complete stalkerish behavior. Always trying to be next to us and listen to what we got going on.